guys back again with a, another quick video uh, this one here it's just going to be a little uh, quick video on uh, doing some half-ass body work um, this is by no means a proper way to to do any type of body work really but in my case if you uh, live in uh, eastern Canada and Nova Scotia the Halifax explosion named after the single greatest man-made explosion before Hiroshima. It was 1917, ship laden with dynamite, crashed into another ship in Halifax Harbor. Tremendous explosion and loss of life. Burned people's eyes out with a blast. Many were blinded by the light, like the song says. They use a lot of salt on the roads and eventually everything rots. So, I've got an old truck that I've been trying to hang on to for the last few years, and it's uh, it's pretty rotted out. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, just a, a quick tip, I guess, so to speak, to, you know, patch up some rust without having to do a whole lot of work or spend a whole lot of money. So, what you're going to need is uh, some fiberglass. I use short strand. Um... You could use long strand, it's harder to work with, probably be stronger, but uh, for what I'm doing, short strand's fine, so you get a quart of that, or a gallon, depending on how bad bad rust you got, and uh, you mix that up, and we'll go out here, I'll show you the, the truck, it's my 04 Ram, I bought it as a lease return in 06, it was two years old, the truck was in mint condition when I bought it. As you can see now, the wheel lips are shot. I just resprayed those about a couple hours ago. I did the body work on them about four years ago, and in the last four years, they've started to rot again because of the method that I use that I'm going to show you in this video here. So, down here, I'll show a picture. I forgot to take video before I started, but I'll show a picture of what this looked like before the bottom of the box there had a massive hole in it the cab corner was virtually gone so as you can see the rockers shot I'm not going to fix that because when the doors closed you don't see it so just for visible sake I decided I was, I'd fix those two spots up over here I'll show you what I did this is just a smaller scale but uh, you got a hole, something like what I, what I had over there or on this side. Just mix that fiberglass up and spread it out on the back of a piece of plastic, shopping bag or whatever. And uh, what you do is put your hands on both sides if you can. It's not necessary, but it makes for a better job. You get your hand up in there and you mold the, the fiberglass to the, to the shape of the hole once it sets up. peel the plastic off now you've got a hole that was you know a real good size right there and it's patched with fiberglass that cab corner starting to go again I fixed it last time I fixed the the wheel arches which are all starting to go but like I said this is all I did was jam fiberglass in there that's obviously not the proper way to to do body work the proper way to do it would be obviously cut all that rust out either make or buy some patch panels and uh, patch them in but this truck is just not worth it it's now my winter truck I just use it to get me through the winter the four-wheel drive works it's only got a hundred and hundred and twenty some thousand kilometers on it but it's just rotten rotted right out so like I said guys that's just a quick uh, a quick tip on how to do some half-ass body work if you're just trying to patch up some holes that make the truck look bad you know driving around depending on how you got your sticker driving around in DOT or vehicle compliance or something's rolling around and they see you sitting at a light with a you know great big massive hole in your box side and your cab corner missing they're probably gonna they're probably gonna hit the lights on you break a breaker to the bandit go on back breaker Bandit, I've got a smoking report for you. Come on. Well, talk to me, good buddy. You got trouble coming. Well, what's your handle, son? And uh what's your 20? 
my handle, Smokey Bear, and I'm tail grabbing your ass right now. And uh, right then and there, at least around here, that whatever sticker you do have on it, it's going to be coming off, and you're going to be, you know, leaving in a tow truck. So at least if you can, you know, manage to get yourself a sticker and uh, keep the outside of the truck looking, you know, presentable. It doesn't last by any means. Like I said, that's how I fix those wheel lips. Um, I just beat all the heavy rust out with a hammer and molded the whole, the whole lip and smoothed it, filed it all out and sprayed it. And it held up until about two years ago. It started to blister out. And then it just all started to crack and break apart like that, which all this other stuff will too. But it's just a quick, uh, quick, cheap way to, to, you know, patch something up so it doesn't look, at least to the, you know, the public eye, that it's as bad as it is. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, uh, click the thumbs up and uh, subscribe for uh, more. Thanks. Okay, so I finished filing it all out. Uh, just really rough. Just used like some scrap sandpaper I had laying around, some 40 and 80 and then 120. And uh, wiped it down and shot some silver paint on it. As you can see, it uh, doesn't look good by any means, but it looks a lot better than, uh, you know, no cab corner and a great big hole in the bottom of the, of the box. So, at least from a distance. Look at the truck at a quick glance. With some fresh paint over the rust on the wheel lips, and those holes fixed up. It doesn't look, you know, too too bad, I guess. At least it uh, won't draw any attention.